Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Voyage. The Age of Speed begins with the robbery of Nami. Chapter 21. No one dared to express their anger. Because what List said is so similar to what Kaya's family has experienced in the past three years. Three years ago, Kaya's father took in Crow. Not long after, her father died. Not long after her father died, her mother followed. Now, only the sickly Kaya is left, and everything seems more and more like the last scene in the story. Kaya originally thought she would trust Crow very much, but no matter what List said, she decided not to believe it. However, when she heard what List said, involuntarily insert yourself into it. For a moment, his entire face turned pale and bloodless. Kaya, Usopp looked at this scene and couldn't help but look at Kaya worriedly. Crabattle, what do you want to say to me? Kaya ignored Usopp's cry and stared at Crow. Miss Kaya, I have to say that this pirate is very good at making up stories, but in doing so, he also exposed their insidiousness. Everything he does is to alienate us and then disintegrate us from within. It must be that all of us villagers united to make him feel in trouble and scared, so he used this despicable method to make us mess up. Their ultimate goal is probably to loot all the wealth and food in our village. Everyone, please wake up and don't be fooled by them. Quote, what Butler Crabiter said makes sense. Who should we believe at this time? The villagers in Zybro village heard Crow's words and felt that what he said made sense. However, List's story is even more popular. For a moment, they didn't know who to listen to. And Kaya, at this time, was also at a loss. Snap, snap, snap. List applauded Crow's remark just now. As expected of you, you resolved a crisis so easily. HMPH, I don't do anything wrong, and I'm not afraid of ghosts knocking on the door. As long as I'm upright, no one can slander me. Crow pushed up his glasses and said righteously. The way you push your glasses is so weird. Others use their fingers to push their glasses, why do you push them with your wrist? I heard that Beiji Crow's attack method is the same as that of a cat, using sharp claws. Therefore, his claws are very sharp and cannot be used to push the glasses. He can only use his wrist to push them. List laughed. Simplicity is nonsense, this can only be regarded as my personal habit. Crow retorted. However, at this moment, a figure flew towards Crow quickly. He is none other than List. List pulled out his katana at some point and struck at Crow quickly and urgently. Crow's expression suddenly changed. Instinctively, he used his true speed and dodged to the side. He narrowly dodged List's knife. What a skill, just like a cat, List joked. You, Crow's eyes darkened instantly. Originally, he wanted to call on everyone to attack List but at this moment, he suddenly found that everyone's eyes changed when they looked at him. Crabattle, you never told me that you have such good skills. Kaya's expression turned extremely ugly. Tell me honestly, are you Beiji Keluo? Did you kill my father and mother? In the end, I was exposed. By this time, Crow also knew that no matter how much he said, he could not gain Kaya's trust. So Crow simply stopped pretending. You admitted it. Kaya looked at Crow angrily. Yes, I admit it. I am Beiji Keluo, and I also killed your parents. Originally, I planned to let you die unexpectedly at the hands of pirates in two months, so that I could legitimately inherit your name, family property. But just at this moment, a group of useless pirates who didn't even offer a reward came and ruined my good deeds. Quote. At the end of the sentence, Crow glared fiercely at List. May I have your name? List. List smiled faintly. Very good. After I kill you, I will set up a monument for you. After all, you are the only person who has made me taste the taste of failure since I debuted. Crow took out two sticks from his arms. He put a glove with a sharp blade into his hand and said in a cold voice. Hey, are you serious? List smiled faintly. In that case, then try your best to please me. I hope you are as powerful as you say. After Crow put on the Espada Cat's claw. With a swish, he disappeared instantly. However, he did not run towards List, but towards Kaya. In an instant, he appeared behind Kaya, jammed Kaya's arm with his arm, and hijacked her. Kaya, Usopp's face suddenly changed as he watched this scene. He is right next to Kaya, how dare Crow bully Kaya like this in front of him. Without thinking, he rushed towards Crow. Go away. Crow kicked Usopp away more than 10 meters. 
bared hard into the beach. There was no movement, and he seemed to have fainted. At this time, Kaya's bodyguards also reacted and took out their pistols and aimed at Crow. Crabattle, put down Miss Kaya quickly. What else is he called Cradle? His name is Beiji Crow, and he is a pirate. Clo, put down Miss Kaya quickly. Although Crow was their housekeeper before, their patron is Kaya. From the moment Crow chose to rebel, he is no longer one of his own. Naturally, those bodyguards would no longer be polite to him. Kaya is in my hand, please pay attention to your tone of voice, otherwise I will kill her if I don't like it. Crow snorted coldly. All the bodyguards hesitated, afraid of harming Kaya because of their actions. At this time, List came over. Miss Kaya, you need help. What do I need to pay? Kaya looked at Lee Siki with a pale face and asked. She didn't believe that a pirate like List would be kind enough to help her. Half of your family fortune, List said. Without waiting for Kaya to answer, Crow tightened his neck tightly so that she could not speak. At the same time, he angrily said to several bodyguards, Kill him, otherwise, I will kill her. Several bodyguards looked at each other. Trapped in tangle. If they don't take action, their patron will die in front of them. In the future, it will not be so easy for them to find a job like now. If they took action, they might die, either at the hands of List or at the hands of his group of pirates. For a time, there was a dilemma. If you don't say anything, I'll take it as your acquiescence. List glanced at Kaya and smiled faintly. The spot that disappeared instantly. When it appears again. He had already arrived in front of Kaya, and instantly broke away Chloe's hand that was holding Kaya. Pushed Kaya away. Then a hard elbow hit Crow, sending him flying. Crow took List's blow and although he flew quite far away, he didn't suffer much damage. Stand up quickly. He looked at List with a sinister look. The killing intent keeps soaring. I'm curious why you attacked Kaya just now instead of attacking me directly. List asked in confusion. I don't need to explain to you. Crow said coldly. Of course he wouldn't tell List. The reason why he captured Kaya first was because he wanted to use her to force or induce the bodyguards and the villagers of Zybro village to attack the money pirates together. Completely expand the battle situation. Unfortunately, before he started taking action, List had already interrupted his plan. It's okay not to mention the plan that has already failed before it even started. Everyone, please stay away from me, otherwise the next battle will affect you. List said to the surrounding villagers. The villagers glanced at List in surprise. This man was so kind that he even reminded them. Coupled with everything that happened just now, the villagers of Zybro village changed their view of List slightly. He stepped back obediently. Soon, a vacuum zone with a diameter of 50 meters appeared between List and Crow. Crow didn't care much about this. His eyes were fixed on List. The Espada cat's paws shook slightly. The next moment, he disappeared silently. When he appears again, already arrived in front of List. The cat's claw blade slashed towards List's neck quickly and urgently. The speed was so fast that it made a sound of breaking through the air. However, List's reaction was quicker than his. He split open the cat's claw drawn by Crow with one knife, and then slashed at Crow's chest with a backhand knife. Hiss. Crow's clothes were directly torn. But it didn't hurt him, he was at the critical moment. The key point was missed in time. List quickly stepped forward. The knife swept towards Crow's neck quickly and urgently. Crow's expression changed slightly, quickly set up the Espada cat's paw. The katana collided hard with the Espada's cat claws. For a time, sparks were everywhere. And Crow was forced to take ten steps back. That's it. Crow, can you do it? The reward of 16 million is a bit high. It's obvious that your skills are not worth 16 million. List scoffed. In the battle just now, he didn't even show half of his strength. Crow was a little unable to resist. It seems that he still underestimates his progress during this period. This guy is so fast, I can't keep up with him at my current speed. Crow ignored List's taunt and muttered to himself. In this case, we can only use that move. Next moment. Crow shook like a zombie. The two cat claws Espada collided with each other and made a clanging sound. Is it that move? List's eyes lit up slightly. The most anticipated move on Crow was the, dip to death, move. Maybe he can learn something useful from it. The lead of Crow's move was a bit long, but List did not interrupt. Instead, 
She watched him dance quietly. It's almost time. Crow started dancing. List also turns on overclocking mode instantly. Buzz. List's vision. The world suddenly became clear. Everything in the world moves slower. In the eyes of everyone, Crow, who was too fast to see clearly, was as fast as a turtle in List's eyes. All his movements, details, and principles were clearly seen by List. You watch Crow's dipping death, Combine it with your own understanding of Marine Six styles, and understand the silent Shunpo. It's over, List muttered to himself, in overclocking state. List's vision, reaction, and speed are all far beyond the norm. The warrior in his hand crossed. Poof, a bunch of blood flowers quickly bloomed on Crow's chest, and a long wound also appeared. Crow, who was also moving at super speed, stopped and looked at List with somewhat blank eyes. What speed is this? You can call it divine speed. List responded. Super fast. It's really fast. After Crow finished speaking, he fell down directly. But, he didn't die, he just lost his fighting ability. Someone, come and bandage him. List had just deliberately avoided Crow's vital points. Because Crow is still of some use to him. Hi, a team of hygienists quickly ran over, checked on Crow, and quickly bandaged him. Keep Crow from bleeding to death. The villagers who were watching at this time were a little belatedly aware of what happened. Is this the end? It seems so. Then what happened just now? I don't know. I just saw Crow suddenly collapse. Is he too weak, or is his opponent, the pirate named List, too strong? Needless to say, of course the pirate named List is too strong. Did you all see clearly how fast they were moving just now? Cannot see clearly. So, they want to kill us like chickens. Crow is fast enough, but List seems to be faster than him. Before, we actually wanted to start a war with such a master. It's really the ignorant who are fearless. Fortunately, he is not that kind of bad pirate. Otherwise, with his strength, he would be able to bloodbath our Zybro village countless times, and they would still need to trade with us. Yes, after this battle, the villagers of Zybro village not only saw the power of List. I also have a little more trust in him. At least, I no longer think that he is that kind of bad pirate. Captain List, thank you for saving me. At this time, Kaya walked up to List and thanked him solemnly. At this time, List has not released the overclocking state. The whole person exudes unparalleled confidence, or it diffuses, and charm. Continuously affects those around you. Kaya was obviously affected at this time. When she looked at List, she felt her heart beating wildly. She felt like she was in love for a moment. The next moment, List turned off the overclocking state, smiled lightly at Kaya and said, You're welcome, this is just a transaction. At this time, Kaya suddenly felt lost. When he came back to his senses, his face turned slightly red. He quickly said, I will count the family property immediately when I get back, and then give you half of the family property shares. If it were before, Kaya might still be a little reluctant. However, just now List made her feel excited. Therefore, she completely changed her mentality and became very generous to List. When it comes to money, List's eyes light up instantly. Can you tell me for your convenience, how much money does your family have? There are probably several hundred million, but most of them are real estate assets, and they are all scattered outside. The family only has less than 50 million in cash. Quote, I have a proposal, Miss Kaya, can you give me all your cash? I don't want your other property and shares. Well, can you leave some cash for me? After all, those industries also need capital turnover. Kaya felt a little confused for a moment. So, how much does Ms. Kaya think is appropriate? List asked. This is a bit troublesome to calculate. How about Captain List, come to my house first and then discuss it in detail? Kaya said with a slight blush on her face. Oh, Miss Kaya, are you not afraid that I am a pirate now? How dare you invite me, a pirate, to your home as a guest? List looked at Kaya with a half smile. I'm not afraid of you even if you are a pirate. Because not only did you save me, but even though you were so powerful, you still chose to use gold to trade with us. This shows that although you are a pirate, you are not a bad person. Kaya smiled mischievously. Isn't he a bad person? Thank you for the compliment. List laughed. Then can I take my men into the village with me? 
my men have been waiting on the boat for a long time and want to find a place to have a drink and celebrate. List laughed. Okay, as long as you are a guest, we at Zybra welcome everyone. Do you agree? Kaya's previous sentence was to List. The latter part was told to the surrounding villagers. Yes, Miss Kaya is right. As long as you are a guest and don't cause trouble or cause trouble, we welcome everyone. The villagers now had a lot more trust in List. I also believe that their entry into the village will not cause them any trouble. It can even create an unexpected income for them. Yeah, thank you very much. List smiled lightly. You all heard it, the villagers do not refuse us to go to the village to have fun, but after everyone arrives in the village, I don't care how you eat, drink and have fun, but you must not cause trouble. Whoever dares to cause trouble, I will make trouble. Understand this yet? List said to the pirates under his command. Understood. When all the pirates heard this, they couldn't help but cheer. I originally thought that I could only purchase some supplies here during this landing, and then I had to leave. I didn't expect that I could go to the island to play. For a moment, everyone showed a relaxed smile. There are even a few people who are good at communication and have become involved with the surrounding villagers, calling them one by one. If you didn't know better, you would have thought their relationship was so close. In that case, let's go. Sibro Village, in a luxurious villa in the heart of the city. Kaya and Nami Nami calculated for more than an hour, and finally decided to leave 15 million to Kaya as circulating capital, and the remaining 33 million were all transferred to List. After List got the money. Borrowed a room from Kaya. Direct money. Cheat. Add 3 points to your spirit and 0.3 points to your body. Added points completed. Finance owner. List. Physique, 3.5. Spirit, 4.3. Golden Index, 0. In addition to adding points, during this period, List finally gained 0.1 spirit and strength by swallowing food through the Liuku Immortal Thief. List looked at this data and nodded with satisfaction. My mental power has increased threefold. I don't know how long the overclocking state can last. I'll give it a try when I have time. List murmured to himself and walked out of the room that Kaya arranged for him. List, come out. Nami and Kaya came over immediately after seeing List. After just getting along for a while, several people became familiar with each other. Kaya is no longer called Captain List, just List. And List didn't call her Miss Kaya, just Kaya. Sorry for keeping you waiting. It didn't take long. The servants have prepared the food. Do you want to have a meal together? Okay. Johnson and the others are having so much fun outside, we should also celebrate. Just celebrate that we are friends. List smiled at Kaya. Good. Kaya nodded happily. Soon, the party began. Except for List, no male pirate participated in this party. Apart from Kaya, the master, there are only Nami and the twelve girls. After getting along with List during this period, the twelve girls gradually understood List's personality and gradually let go of their fear of him. He even dared to come over and toast him. He didn't refuse at all. Everyone ate at this banquet for three or four hours. After the banquet, it was already dark. List, Nami, it's getting dark. You guys shouldn't be in a hurry to leave. Why don't you just rest here for the night? Kaya asked List and Nami to stay. Then I'm sorry to bother you. List looked at the sky. Without thinking much, he agreed to Kaya's request to stay. Soon, Kaya and several servants arranged rooms for Nami and other girls. I have to say that Kaya's house is really big and has many rooms. Each person is divided into one room, and there are still many vacant rooms. List took advantage of this moment to go out and inform all the pirates under his command to set sail again on another day. When he returns to Kaya's house, those girls have gone to bed. Under the guidance of a servant, List found the bathroom, took a bath, and returned to the room prepared for him by Kaya. Just fell asleep. Then someone sneaked into his room quietly. Get into his bed. Kaya, you, stop talking, kiss me. A cute voice sounded in List's ear, and she kissed his cheek. List's surname is neither Lu nor Shahui. Kaya is a rare beauty. Nowadays, beauties are hugging each other. Of course he will not remain indifferent. A turnaround. The next day. The sun has not yet risen. List woke up under the reminder of her biological clock. Open your eyes and look at that rosy and sweet sleeping face. List couldn't help but recall everything about last night. 
I didn't expect that this girl Kaya, who is thin, weak, and sickly looking, would be so crazy. List kissed Kaya's rosy little face. He gently moved away the arm that was holding her down. Walk out of the room and start a new day of practice. Until after three strokes in the sun, Nami and others finally woke up. Kaya also got up early, pretending to be fine, and invited everyone to have breakfast together. After breakfast, List approached Kaya. Kaya, come with me to the sea. With yesterday's relationship, List had the idea to bring Kaya on board. However, Kaya smiled and shook her head. No, List, I am too weak. If you take me with you, you will be harmed. Moreover, now, I am the only one left in my family. I need to pass on the family legacy my father left me. Besides, you are only leaving temporarily, not goodbye forever. If you miss me in the future, you can come back and see me. Kaya looked at List gently, with a flash of obsession in her eyes, but she still refused List's invitation. You really don't want to leave with me? List asked again. You don't want to force me onto the boat, do you? Kaya made a little joke. No, I respect your choice. You are right, leaving does not mean goodbye forever. When I have time, I will come back to see you. List shook his head and said. Then can you stay and stay with me for a few more days? Kaya looked at List expectantly. Then stay for three more days. Three days, that's enough. Kaya heard this and showed a touching smile. List, when you defeated Crow yesterday, you were so handsome. Can you show me what you looked like yesterday again? Kaya looked at List expectantly. List, after hearing this, he immediately knew what was going on. Naturally, Kaya would not be rejected. But, before the show, he asked Kaya to ask his servants to prepare thousands of kilograms of meat and desserts for him. Although Kaya doesn't understand why List did this. But she did it anyway. After everything is ready, List instantly enters overclocking state. The aura and charm in the overclocked state are revealed involuntarily. Kaya's eyes suddenly lit up when she saw this scene. Yes, that's how it feels. So handsome, my heart beats so fast. At this time, List hugged Kaya's slim waist, kissed him directly. Kaya felt that at this moment, she was really happy. He responded to List's feelings with emotion. The two of them kissed passionately in the garden. One minute, five minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes, until thirty minutes later. List felt the familiar dizziness again. He quickly let go of Kaya who still had more to say. List, what's wrong with you? Why does your face suddenly look so bad? Kaya looked at List's pale face and asked with concern. Kaya, ask someone to bring me the meat. List said. Okay, Kaya didn't dare to hesitate and shouted quickly. Come here, bring me the meat and desserts. Hi, not long after, several servants brought plates of meat and desserts. While List was eating like crazy, he used the Liuku Immortal Thief to speed up digestion. Just under three minutes, List's face turned rosy again. Kaya breathed a long sigh of relief after watching this scene. An hour later, List finally stopped after eating thousands of kilograms of meat and desserts. Kaya felt a little guilty and said, List, is it a heavy burden for you to enter that state? I am so selfish that. Don't think nonsense. List rubbed Kaya's head and said. Actually, I also want to take this opportunity to experiment how long I can last after entering this state. I am very satisfied with the result. Quote, although, the time to enter overclocking is not directly proportional to the height of mental power growth. However, the time it took him to enter the overclocking state was also doubled. This is a huge gain for List. Kaya's face improved after hearing List's words. Later, the two became deeply in love again. Afternoon. List did not continue to be with girls like Kaya or Nami. He returned to the seaside and boarded the black gold. Yesterday, Johnson's first team went ashore and had a great time. Today it was their turn to guard the ship. And Rocky led his second team to the island early to have fun. Master Captain. Johnson and others saw List arriving and quickly came over to greet him. How is Beiji Locke doing now? He is very good. He can eat and drink. If we hadn't chained him, he would have escaped. Johnson replied. Bring him out, List said and asked someone to bring a chair. Just sit down on the deck. Soon, Beiji Locke was brought up by Johnson. Are you ready to deal with me? Crow said bitterly. He probably already understood what would happen next. However, 
he was still a little unwilling. Originally, I was going to hand you over to Kaya, but she is too kind. Even if you kill her parents, she still remembers your love for taking care of her in the past three years and doesn't want to kill you. Just let me take you away and never let you appear in front of her. List said calmly. What an innocent girl. A complex emotion flashed in Beiji Locke's eyes, but it was quickly replaced by indifference. Maybe, but she is even more lovable like this. Li Yingst said. Boring. In order to give Kaya an explanation, I will definitely kill you, but you can choose the way to die. First, call your former subordinates over and I will give you a happy death. Second, if you refuse my request, I will give you ten tortures to let you slowly experience the joy of death. Quote, you want to recruit my former subordinates? Beiji Lok saw List's intention at a glance. You are indeed a smart man. So, what's your choice? List looked at Beiji Lok and said. I choose one. I'm going to die anyway. It doesn't matter to me what happened to my former subordinates. Beiji Lok replied directly without even thinking about it. Happy. The vast sea. Somewhere. Vice Captain Zangao. Captain Crow has given another order. Give me. Zhang Gao snatched the letter from the younger brother's hand. Glanced. It's the captain's handwriting. The plan has been advanced. Well, I'm just a deputy captain. Why do I want to do so much? I just need to obey orders. Muttered to himself. Zhang Qing cleared his throat. He said loudly. Young men, come on, Captain Crow has an order for us to rush to Zybro village before noon tomorrow. Set off. Quote. The second day. The Black Cat Pirates arrived as scheduled. They docked the boat at another entrance to the village of Sibro. Dozens of people all disembarked from the boat and walked towards the place Beiji Keluo had arranged with them. As they cross a remote trail. When entering a forest meadow. Then they saw a figure facing away from them. With Django's familiarity with this figure, he recognized it at a glance. He was none other than the captain of their Black Cat Pirates, by Jikaluo. Captain Crow. I brought everyone here. What are your orders next? Zhangao walked a few meters behind Crow and asked with a smile. He spoke in one word. There was a crash. Seventy or eighty strong men emerged from the surrounding forests, each with weapons in hand, surrounding them. There's an ambush. What is happening? The members of the Black Cat Pirates looked at the enemies surrounding them and became completely panicked. Zhangao's eyes swept over those strong men, and finally set his sights on Crow. Captain Crow, you betrayed us. Why, we're sorry for you. Throughout the years, even though you were no longer on board, we remained loyal to you. I don't dare to be disloyal in the slightest. Why are you doing this to us? Quote. Zhang Gao was surprised and angrily asked Crow. I'll give you ten minutes to say goodbye to your men. The voice came from in front of Crow. Only then did Zhang Gao realize that there was another person in front of Crow. I have nothing to say to them, just do it. Crow said solemnly. Why don't you stop struggling? What if your subordinates can save you? List, standing in front of Crow, said with a playful smile. I can't even block one of your moves, and it's even less possible for them. In that case, why bother humiliating yourself in order to struggle hard before death? It's better to die comfortably. Crow said solemnly. That makes sense. List nodded. I saw a flash of cold light. A line of blood appeared on Crow's neck. Crow twitched instinctively and fell down. Captain, Captain Crow. Zhang Gao was also shocked when he saw this scene. At first, he thought it was a drama in which the birds disappeared, the good bow was hidden, the cunning rabbit died, and the lackeys were cooked. As a result, Crow, who called them over, died in front of them. For a moment, Zhang Gao couldn't figure out what was going on. After Crow fell, List's figure was completely revealed in front of Zhang Gao's eyes. Zhang Gao asked List in shock and confusion, Who are you? What do you want to do? My name is List. I am a pirate. Two days ago, Crow was defeated by me and became my prisoner. The reason why I asked him to call you here is to recruit you. Does any of you have any opinions on this? List got straight to the point. Incorporate us. Zhang Gao was surprised. That's right. List nodded. Since you want to subdue us, why did you kill Captain Crow? Logically speaking, since you can defeat him, you should have the confidence to subdue him. If you subdue Crow, wouldn't it be a great help? Zhang Gao said, speak out the questions in your mind. Of course I have the confidence to conquer him, 
but I have to give someone an explanation, so he must die. List said calmly. Do you have anything else to ask? No more. Zhang Gao shook his head. To give people an explanation, this is the reason why Crow must die. He will not continue to dwell on this issue. Otherwise, if you annoy the person in front of you, there will be no good consequences for him. After all, even Crow was killed by him. He didn't think that he would be List's opponent. So, will you accept the recruitment? List asked. Accept. From today on, I am Captain List, your most loyal subordinate. With that said, Zhang Gao knelt down towards List to show his allegiance. In this regard, List just watched the excitement. He wouldn't believe this nonsense. This guy, like three, is extremely good at the self-defense technique. Now that he is strong, Zhang Gao will surrender to him. In the future, if he loses, this guy will probably run faster than anyone else. Okay, I accept your allegiance. List will not return if he doesn't believe it, but the rituals that should be maintained will still be maintained. What about you? List looked at the other pirates of the Black Cat Pirates. Those pirates seemed to feel the oppression in List's eyes, and they all followed suit and knelt down, expressing their willingness to accept List's inclusion. Okay, from today on, you are a member of my money pirates. Zhang Gao, you are the captain of the third division. You will continue to lead the members of the original Black Cat Pirates. Yes, time flies. In a flash, it has been three days since List and Kaya agreed. It has passed. On this day, the money pirates will finally set sail. The money pirates spent a lot of money here during the few days they stayed in Zybro village. Many villagers are making a lot of money. So, after the money pirates left, many villagers came to say goodbye. But Kaya, today, did not come to the scene. Because, yesterday, Kaya had already made an agreement with List. I don't want to see the scene of leaving. So, last night, the two of them fought to death. It didn't end until Kaya couldn't bear it anymore and fainted completely. At this time, she was probably still asleep. List stood on the money. Looked at the time. Without hesitation, he announced directly, set sail. The sails were lowered and the ship gradually moved away. In a dense forest on the slope, a girl looked at the pirate ship gradually going away and covered her mouth to prevent herself from crying. She said she didn't want to see the parting scene, but actually she was just saying it to List. She seemed to be still sleeping, and she was also shown to List. Kaya woke up not long after she fainted, and she didn't sleep until List kissed her on the cheek and left her room and her manor. She didn't open her eyes. He quietly brought Mary to this dense forest and said goodbye to List secretly. Miss Kaya, since you like Captain List so much and he has invited you several times, why don't you agree to go on his ship? Mary, who was next to him, looked at all this and felt very puzzled. The sea is never calm. If I follow him with my body, besides causing trouble for List, I will also bring nothing to him. People who are worthless and drag others down all the time, even if you love them to the core at first, will become annoying as time goes by. In this case, I might as well maintain this initial beauty and continue to stay here to run the family business that my father left me. Or, this family business can also help him one day. Kaya shook her head. Miss Kaya, you are too sensible. Melly didn't know what to say for a moment. I heard that Captain List seemed to have invited Usopp on board before leaving, but he declined. I can see that Usopp is very eager to go to sea, but I don't know why he refuses to get on Captain List's ship. Mary said. Perhaps, the suitable ship for him hasn't arrived yet. Kaya smiled. She knew very well that the money pirates were not a good fit for Usopp. Although, Usopp is a very talented person. However, his personality is incompatible with the money pirates. If you go up there, you will probably be left out in the cold. The money pirates' goal this time is very clear. Nami's hometown, Coco West Village. The gold on the money, the three million belly that Kaya secretly gave to Nami, and the money she had accumulated in the past few years added up to 100 million belly. Nami's dream is finally coming true. This day, early in the morning. List is doing basic practice once a day. The two girls came to List timidly. List ignored them and continued to do his own thing. 498, 499, 500. When List finished 500 times, he stopped. At this time, Chitong quickly handed over the towel. After List took it, 
he wiped the sweat from his head. Then he looked at the two people. What's wrong with you two? Captain, we want to practice. Chitong mustered up the courage and looked directly at List and said. Oh, List suddenly became interested. So, you want me to teach you? Yes, Chitong nodded. Okay, from now on, you can follow me to practice, but let's make an agreement first. Once you join, you can't give up halfway. List said. Hi, Chitong and Hill nodded happily after hearing this. It's still early, so let me teach you some basic knowledge now. Well, let's start with Su Jen. Quote, hi, raise your hands higher. Look ahead, be decisive when swinging. Quote, quote. When Nami and others woke up, they found that Chitong Hill had started practicing with List. Nami didn't have any other thoughts besides clicking her tongue. Instead, it was Yulin Shizuka and the other girls who were watching this scene. There was a sense of urgency in my heart. Chitong and Hill were already valued by List, and now they are working hard to become stronger. If this continues, Chitong and Hill will definitely receive more and more attention and reuse from List. And if they don't make changes, the earliest ones will be marginalized. Especially Orchid and Shizuka, they were the first people to catch List's eyes. However, in recent days, List has gradually surpassed them in calling Kai Tong and Chi Sheng several times. If they don't work hard to catch up, I'm afraid they really won't be able to keep up with Chitong and Hill. Yes, the next day. Except for Chitong and Hill who got up early. Yulin Shizuka and other girls also got up. They are all asking List for advice on spiritual practice. List is happy to see this. And the girls also completely rolled up in order to get List's attention. Nami looked at the girl who had rolled up inexplicably, and felt that she seemed a little out of place on this ship. So I also started to ask List for advice on spiritual practice. Other girls have chosen to work hard to become stronger, so why can't she? The women on the money know have worked so hard. The black gold and Maoyan, those big guys can still sit still. They all rolled up one after another. Seeing this, List specially wrote a, basic cultivation insights, and passed it on to the owners of money account. This basic practice insight is List's use of the overclocking state to summarize his own abilities, and then, from shallow to deep, step by step. Among them, there are those for physical training, some for speed, some for reaction ability, some for strength, and some for sword and slashing skills. It can be said to be very comprehensive. The pirates on the money ship looked like they had found a treasure. For a time, the entire money ship on the road to Kokoja only needed to be described in one word, volume. This day, after lunch, List and Nami are on the deck, enjoying this rare afternoon leisure time. There is a table with a parasol and a variety of fruits, desserts and drinks on it. Two beach chairs were placed on either side of the table. The two of them took a sip of drinks and ate some fruits while enjoying the sea breeze. It was a five-star enjoyment. Suddenly, Kai Tong's voice came from the observation deck. Captain, we found a small boat ahead, and they are heading towards us. Hearing this, List opened his eyes suddenly. As soon as he walked towards the bow of the ship, he asked, Can you see who it is? I saw three people in the boat, and they all had weapons on them. Maybe a bounty hunter. Nami has been in the sea for so many years, and she has never seen any kind of people. After hearing Chitong's description, he immediately guessed the identity of the other party. Bounty hunters, are they targeting our group of pirates who don't have a bounty yet? List smiled hoarsely. Bring the telescope. Yulin, who was waiting beside List, quickly handed over a telescope. List held the telescope and looked in the direction pointed by Kai Tong. Soon a small boat and three people in it were sighted. Soon I saw their appearance clearly. One of them has a green algae head, one wears a hood like a monkey, and the other wears glasses like a gangster. With just one glance, List could see their strong demeanor. Isn't this the Sword God and Sword Saint Lukai? We will meet them here. Sword God Sword Saint Lukai. Nami was stunned. Are they famous? You probably don't know each other, but since we have met, why not drag them on board? List made an instant decision. When both sides did not turn around, the small boat on which the three men, the money and the sword Saint Luci, were traveling, collided unexpectedly. Boom, the boat the three people were on was instantly knocked to pieces. Brother Zoro, help, the sword god Juggernaut fell into the sea at the same time. Zoro, 
the road idiot, quickly grabbed the collars of the two men and exerted force under his feet. The broken boat sank directly into the sea. Zoro, on the other hand, pulled the two of them onto the money boat. After being rescued, the sword master immediately became arrogant. You pirates, how did you sail the boat and actually sank our boat? If you don't give us a satisfactory explanation today, your pirate group will be destroyed, I tell you. Quote. That's right, who of you is the captain, stand up for me. The sword god sword master opened his mouth. It immediately aroused tension between both sides. The pirates on the other two ships next to them all stared at the three people with angry faces. Idiot, what are you talking about? Our three big ships are only sailing on this sea. Anyone who is not blind can see them. You have to bump into us, and you dare to touch us. It seems that you are impatient. Yeah, Zhang Gao was the first to curse. Who are you three? How dare you come to trouble our money pirates? I think you don't want tomorrow. Johnson also shouted. The sword master is not intimidated either. Although there are many people in the money pirates, they all have blind confidence in Zoro. After hearing what Zhang Gao and Johnson said, not only did they not restrain themselves, but they shouted even more arrogantly, you think that because you have more people and louder voices, we are afraid of you. They're just a trash pirate group with no bounty on their head. Listen up, you all, we are bounty hunters. This is our big brother, Rorino Azoro. Our previous opponents were big pirates with millions of bounties on their backs. A pirate group like yours that doesn't even have a bounty on your head is not worthy of being our opponent at all. Quote, the sword master carries a dozen bounty lists with him. Just now, they have confirmed that there is no bounty for this pirate group. Maybe he is a fledgling rookie pirate group. As it happens, the supplies on their boat have been exhausted. If they can't take the opportunity to extort some things, they may starve to death on this sea. Pirate Hunter, Nanaro Azoro. When the pirates heard this name, their expressions changed. Obviously, they all love the name Zoro Pirate Hunter especially Johnson and Rocky. When they were in the Bloodhammer Pirates, one of the people Bloodhammer Henry was most afraid of was the pirate hunter Zoro. Now when I heard this name, I subconsciously felt that I was in trouble. HMPH, you're afraid. Since you're afraid, then hurry up and compensate us for our losses. First they gave us a boat, then they gave us a thousand kilograms of food and two buckets of water, and finally they gave us a compensation of 100,000 belly each. Quote, HMPH, a mere pirate hunter dares to act recklessly on our money pirates. Captain, let us first meet this so-called pirate hunter, Johnson said. Before, they were really shocked by Zoro's name. However, thinking back calmly, their captain list seems to be even more terrifying. Whether it was Bloodhammer Henry, Crazy Andre, or Beji Crow, they were almost all instantly killed by their captain list. With list giving them the scoop, why should they be afraid of pirate hunters? That's fine, I have nothing to do, so you can play with him. If you play well, I will reward you heavily, Strut said with a smile. At this time, Zoro has already boarded the ship and wants to conquer him. There is no rush. Next, they have plenty of time to play slowly. Zoro raised an eyebrow. He didn't like List's words very much. What does it mean to have fun? What does it mean to fight well and be rewarded? Are you treating him like a monkey? I'm not interested in your men, but you, you are also a swordsman, right? Why don't you be my opponent next? Pirate hunter Nanaro Azoro, no matter how good you are, you are worthy of our captain doing it himself. Let me meet you first. Quote, Johnson yelled. He pulled a hemp rope on the crossbar and swung from the black gold no to the money no like a thousand swings. Without saying a word, he waved his big wand and hit Zoro on the head. Zoro's eyes flashed with disdain. What rubbish, are you worthy of fighting with me? With just one glance, he could see Johnson's strength and weakness. I saw Zoro's figure swaying. A samurai sword was unsheathed and struck Johnson hard in the abdomen with the back of the sword. Bang, Johnson's face turned pale. My eyes almost bulged out. After Zoro takes back his katana, the whole person knelt on the ground and huddled up. How is it possible that Captain Johnson was knocked down with just one blow? Everyone was shocked when they saw this scene. Although they already knew that Zoro was strong before this, they did not expect that he would be so strong. For a moment, the fear of Zoro in his heart deepened. Rocky, 
brother cat people, come together. At this time, Zhang Gao roared. When Rocky and the Catman brothers heard this, they didn't hesitate and directly pulled a rope and swung toward the money. Rocky slashed at Zoro first. Then came the Cat brothers, attacking quickly from both sides. Snort. Zoro snorted and became interested for a moment. Quickly draw out the other two katana swords. A handful in the mouth and a handful in each hand. He calmly blocked the three attacks. Blocked. Everyone looked at this scene and couldn't help but exclaimed again. His short-sightedness was truly exposed at once. Soon, Zoro and Rocky were fighting together. Although it is a three-on-one situation. However, Zoro was not at a disadvantage at all. Even after a few rounds, a knife was struck hard on Rocky's shoulder, knocking Rocky out. It ended up being a two-on-one situation. The Cat Brothers vs. Zoro. The strength of the Catman Brothers is far from comparable to the current Johnson and Rocky. Without Rocky around, the two of them cooperated with each other and played more naturally and better. Not only did Zoro fail to take advantage of them, he even got scratched on his body by the Cat Brothers. Well done, Brother Catman. Just after the Catman Brothers slandered Zoro. All the pirates on the three pirate ships couldn't help but cheer. Ha, huh, that's interesting. Zoro glanced at the place where the Catman brother had scratched him. He suddenly became serious. At this time, he also saw that the strength of the Catman brothers was still very strong, not comparable to the two parallel imports before. If you don't take it seriously, the boat may capsize at any time. After the Cat brothers looked at each other, they attacked Zoro again. This time, however, Zoro went all out. Both sides fight quickly. Almost dozens of rounds later, Zoro cuts down Buffy, one of the Catman brothers, with a single blow. At the same time, he was successfully attacked by Sam. Another wound was added to the body. However, this wound did not damage Zoro's vitals, so Zoro's combat effectiveness did not have much impact. Therefore, after a few rounds, Sam was also cut down. Bang bang bang. The moment Zoro defeated Sam, there was a burst of applause. But it was List who was there to applaud. I cut your subordinates, and you still have the mood to applaud. Zoro glanced at List and mocked. Although he had seen many captains like this who didn't take his men seriously at all. However, List still left a very bad impression on him. It's just a cut, just he lit. As a pirate, injuries are commonplace. If they can compete with a master like you, it will only be good for their future development, not bad. List said with a faint smile. Come here, take them down and treat them well. Hi. A few more pirates swung over from the other two ships, walked up to Sam and the others, cleaned their mouths, and treated and bandaged them. Zoro doesn't stop him. Would you like a bandage? List smiled at Zoro. I can't trust you pirates. Zoro sneered. Besides, a mere injury is not enough. Come on, let me see your strength. As you wish. However, if we lose, you will have to stay on the ship and become a pirate. List laughed. Snort. Zoro just sneered and didn't reply. Defeated. That is impossible. He has never lost since he went to sea. Therefore, he never thinks about what will happen after defeat. List picked up the katana leaning against the table. Take a few steps forward. Smiling lightly at Zoro. Come on. Without saying a word, Zoro directly attacked List. Three swordsman style. Demon slayer. Draw your sword with great speed. In an instant, List moved and swept towards Zoro like a stream of light. A cold light flashed. Then he passed by Zoro. Stand facing each other. List slowly sheathed the katana. Poof. A long wound instantly opened in Zoro's chest. Blood spurted out from the wound like crazy. Zoro tilted his head and looked at the wound on his chest that was bleeding like crazy. Recalling the scene just now, a flash of surprise flashed in his eyes. What a fast knife. After saying that, he fell down directly. Boss Zoro, seeing Zoro fall, Sword God Johnny and Sword Master Sayav immediately screamed. Come here, treat our combat captain. At this time, List said. List forgot which swordsman once said this. A swordsman must have the physique to fight for three days and three nights, and the courage to kill with one strike. List could have fought Zoro hundreds of times before defeating him. However, he did not do that, but chose to kill with one strike. Defeat Zoro instantly. The reason he did this was to leave an indelible impression on Zoro. 
For this reason, he directly entered the overclocking state just now, maximizing his insight, reaction power, and speed to deliver the highest level of attack to ensure nothing goes wrong. Combat Captain Everyone was stunned when they heard List's words. However, they did not dare to refute List's words. Moreover, they all saw Zoro's battle just now, and they were convinced of Zoro's strength. They had no objection to letting Zoro be the battle captain. And you too. You can also stay and be Zoro's little follower. List looked at the sword master. The two of them trembled for a while. Okay, okay. We have no objection. The two of them finished speaking tremblingly. Ha ha. The pirates looked at this scene and couldn't help laughing happily. Then, he mocked. Just now, weren't you two very arrogant? Why, I'm so scared that I can't speak now. Quote, face the ridicule of these people. Johnny and Siov could only lower their heads and pretend to be dead. Without Zoro to back them up, they really couldn't get up. Okay, shut up. We are all partners in the same boat from now on, so there are so many overnight feuds. Whatever you have to do, just do it. At this time, List spoke. No one dared not listen. They all shut up and went about their own business. The fleet sailed towards Kokoja Island. But how long has passed? Zoro gradually wakes up, looking at this strange bed. Zoro recalled what happened before. I'm not dead. Brother Zoro, you finally woke up. That's great. Johnny and Siov, who were guarding Zoro's bedside, found that Zoro had woken up, and their eyes almost shed tears of excitement. I regret it. Why was he so obsessed with extorting money from the pirates in the first place? Now it's better, not only did the benefits not come, but I also participated in it. What's going on? Zoro glanced at the two of them and asked. After you were killed instantly by Captain List, he ordered the ship's doctor to treat your wound. Now we are part of the money pirates. Brother Zoro, you were appointed as the combat force captain by Captain List. Johnny started to explain. We joined the money pirates and became pirates. And I'm still the captain. When did it happen? Why didn't I know? Zoro asked in a daze. When you were injured and unconscious, you were added to the money pirates. Syov said with a bitter look on his face. A good pirate hunter immediately became a pirate. Who can't accept it for a while? HMPH, I didn't agree to join this money pirate group. Zoro snorted unhappily. But you lost, Syov said quietly. Zoro heard this and became completely autistic. Brother Zoro, be open-minded in everything. You are also the captain after all. In the Money Pirates, you can be said to be inferior to one person and superior to 10,000 people. In fact, such a good treatment is not something that cannot be considered. Johnny reassured. After Zoro was silent for a moment, he sat up and started to get up. Johnny quickly asked, Brother Zoro, what do you want to do? I'm going to meet that guy. Zoro said solemnly. Then your injury doesn't matter. Sayov asked with concern. It's okay, I'm not dead yet. Okay, brother Zoro, I will lead you. Are you okay? I'm on a boat and I still need you to lead the way. Zoro said speechlessly. Brother Zoro, you should be careful, but don't go the wrong way. In addition to the captain's cabin, this ship also has many girls' dormitories. You can't go to that side. If you go the wrong way, you will be in trouble. Quote. Johnny explained. Look at what you said. Am I the kind of person who can't tell the difference between north, south, east and west? How could I go wrong on such a small ship? Zoro said without any self-awareness. In this regard, Johnny and Siov did not continue to speak. After being together for so long, who still doesn't know anyone's secrets? It didn't take long. Zoro and the three walked onto the deck. Hey, you're awake. Would you like to come over and eat some fruit? List immediately looked at Zoro with a smile. No thank you, Zoro said. Captain List, let's talk. What do you want to talk about? List asked with the same smile on his face. The winner is king, the loser eats the dust. I am convinced that I lost to you. I have no objection to joining the money pirates, but I have a condition. Quote. What conditions? List asked with a smile. When one day I can defeat you, I will leave and you can't stop me. Zoro said solemnly. No problem, just like you said, the winner is king and the loser eats the dust. The winner decides everything, List laughed. In this case, then from now on I will challenge you often. 
Please be mentally prepared, Zoro said. At this time, he has regarded List as a small goal in his life. He will not leave lightly until he defeats List. When he left, it must have been after he defeated List. Yes, I will give you a chance to challenge every day. As long as you can defeat me, you can leave at any time. List smiled. Okay, it's settled. Zoro raised the corner of his mouth slightly. Can you drink alcohol in your current situation? List looked at Zoro and asked with a smile. Of course no problem, Zoro said confidently. That's good. List stood up and shouted, Young boys. Everyone on the three ships looked at List. A new person joins us today. Next, let's have a party. Roar, all the pirates cheered excitedly. As pirates, nothing makes them happier than having a party. After the banquet, List and Nami returned to the room together. The moment the door closed, Nami hugged List's neck. Snapped, List patted Nami's peach, playing with the taste, why are you so proactive today? List, last time, you and Kaya were kissing in the garden, and I saw it. Nami said coquettishly. So, jealous, List joked, I'm not jealous, don't think that I don't know what your purpose is in leaving Chitong and the others on the money. If you were jealous, I would have ruined your plan long ago, but I didn't do anything. Nami said. Then what do you want to do? Same as Kaya, I want to see your overclocking status. Nami said. Okay. Upon hearing this, List turned on the overclocking mode without much hesitation. That's how it feels. Suddenly, Nami felt that List became more beautiful and attractive. The eyes looking at List became drawn. He even took the initiative to kiss her. However, after this kiss, things got out of hand. Fifteen minutes later, List was completely exhausted from the game, his face was pale and bloodless, and his breath was extremely weak. In overclocking mode, it's okay and can last for 30 minutes without strenuous exercise. However, once I do strenuous exercise, I can't stand it for 15 minutes. I can't stand it at all. You want to kill me. List glared at Nami fiercely. I can't bear to play with you to death. You take a rest first and I'll find some meat for you. Just hold on for a while. Nami left the room with satisfaction. Not long after, they came in carrying hundreds of kilograms of meat and desserts. While List was devouring his food, he used Liuku a mortal thief to speed up digestion. After thoroughly digesting hundreds of kilograms of food, I finally breathed a sigh of relief. List, let's do it again. Let's go. I just consumed too much. This hundred pounds of meat is just enough for me to survive. I'm still far from returning to my previous state. I have to find some more food. With that said, List hurriedly fled the room. Nami was left with a silly smile on her face, recalling what had just happened. The next day, List still gets up early. He seems to have gotten used to this routine. Chitong and others also went to bed early and were doing basic training with him. Just a few days, the movements of Chitong and others are already in shape. The progress of Chitong, Hill, Yulin, and Shizuka was somewhat beyond List's expectations completely distanced herself from the other eight girls. Among them, Kai Tong is the strongest and the hardest working. Yulin and Shizuka have the best understanding. List only taught many moves once and they already remembered them. Hill's physique is not as good as that of Chitong, and her understanding is not as good as Orchid Shizuka's, but she seems to be a born warrior. There is no basis for training, however, after she holds the katana. She knew instinctively how to swing. List taught her that she couldn't master it after several times of training, but as long as it was sparring, she could always rely on instinct to suppress Chitong, Orchid, and Shizuka time and time again. However, List knows that this instinct cannot always give Hill an advantage. When Chitong and others become stronger, Hill could no longer suppress them with just his instincts. So, List used overclocking mode and noticed the Hill for several days. Then based on her performance, a training plan was specially planned for her. After morning exercise, everyone gathered together to have breakfast. Nami suddenly said, List, this is not far from Coco West Village. That's right, I know. List paused for a moment before understanding what Nami meant. Wait a minute, I'll put a boat down for you, and you go back to redeem Kokoyasi Village from Arlong. If your transaction fails, just come back to me and I will find a place for you. If you succeed, then I will give you three days to clear your suspicion. 
Three days later. I will lead the money pirates to attack the Arlong realm again. List said solemnly. Okay. Nami nodded after being silent for a moment. After this period of getting along, she found that she had fallen in love with List and the life of the money pirates. If she were alone, she would not continue to choose to make ends meet with Arlong. She will not hesitate to choose to fight against the Arlong pirates together with List. But, she is not alone. She also has a village weakness. She will not let her village take risks until it reaches a dead end. So, she decided to take the path she and List had agreed upon from the beginning. After breakfast, List asked people to put down the boat and put down the money belonging to Nami. Put Nami on the boat and finally watch Nami leave. Coco West Village, Nami docked the boat in a remote place. She quietly returned home with the wealth she had collected during this trip to sea. Nami, are you back? When Nokigao opened the door to the room, he saw Nami, whom he hadn't seen for many days. He was shocked at first, and then showed a happy smile. Najigao, I'm back. Nami looked at Najigao and smiled happily, and hugged Najigao. More than a month away. She also missed Nuochigao very much, her only relative who was not related by blood. Come on in. Naki pulled Nami into the house. He sat her down and gave her a glass of water. Then he said, how long do you plan to stay when you come back this time? I don't know, but when I come back this time, I should be able to completely break up with the past. Nami knew. Master Nuochi trembled slightly. Have you saved enough money? Nuo Chigao's voice was a little nervous and a little excited. Kokoyasi village has been oppressed by Arlong for too long, and now they finally see a glimmer of light in this desperate sky. Do you know? Nami paused, obviously hearing from Nochigao's words that she already knew the agreement between herself and Arlong. Actually, everyone knows this, but for letting you, a girl, run for the village, everyone feels guilty and also a little bit embarrassed to talk about it. After all, we are all honest civilians with limited abilities. Just Arlong's monthly capitation fee leaves everyone with no extra energy and ability to do other things. But Nami, you are different. You are very good. If there is anyone in this world who can pull the village out of the quagmire of despair, it is you, Nami. You are the only hope for our village. Nuo Chigao said solemnly. Don't worry, Nokigao, the nightmare will go away, and our Coco West village will slowly get better. Nami said solemnly. Chapter 31 Nami and Nokigao chatted for almost two hours. After it was over, Nami went to the orange grove and dug out the treasure she had buried there. Putting the wealth he gained from this trip into it, it was just over 100 million belly. Nami was carrying the 100 million belly accumulated through 10 years of hard work. Walk towards the Arlong field. Brother Arlong, Nami is here. A long-mouthed murloc walked up to Arlong and said. Oh, she's back. I haven't seen her for more than a month. I thought she died outside, but she actually came back. Let her come. Arlong sneered. Soon, Nami walked to Arlong carrying a large bag. Arlong looked at the big bag Nami was carrying. Suddenly realized. Nami may have scraped together 100 million belly. There was a flash of coldness in his eyes. Arlong, do you still remember our agreement? Nami got straight to the point. What agreement? Arlong asked lazily. When I collect 100 million belly, let me redeem Coco West Village. You said this to me in person, so you won't deny it. Nami said solemnly. So this is what you are talking about. Now that I think about it, it seems that there is such a thing. Suddenly mentioning this matter, why, have you collected enough 100 million belly? Arlong looked at Nami, smiling but not smiling, said. Of course, here is just over 100 million belly. Nami put the bag down. He walked to Arlong and said. Need to take stock. Of course it is necessary. After all, it is 100 million. This is not a small amount. If the difference is only a few tens of thousands or 10,000, I may not make plans, but if the difference is too much, then you will be a bit disrespectful to me. Arlong smiled. Shauba, chirp, Kruby, count the money. Okay. Brother Arlong. Octopus Shauba took a step forward and poured out the money from the bag. Inside, in addition to Bailey, there was gold and various jewelry. Arlong looked at this scene and couldn't help but smile. He winked at several fishmen. Those fish people understand. Count Bailey. It probably took about 20 minutes. 
several fishmen finally counted all the baileys. They are then added up to arrive at an accurate figure. Brother Arlong, there are only 68 million in total, which is still 32 million short of 100 million. The fishman chirped. Isn't there gold and jewelry? You haven't included this yet. Nami's expression suddenly changed and she quickly explained. Sorry, I don't accept gold here, let alone jewelry. Arlong laughed. I said Nami, you said you wanted to redeem Coco West Village, and I agreed, but in the end, you only brought 68 million. What do you mean? Don't you respect me a little bit? Quote. Arlong gave a deep drink. Arlong, gold is also a hard currency. Why doesn't it count as money? After you exchange the gold and jewelry for money, the money is far more than 100 million. You are kidding me. Nami yelled angrily. Didn't I say that I don't accept gold? Don't you understand human language? Arlong snorted coldly. Okay, I'm going to exchange the gold for Bailey now, you just wait for me. Nami said, putting all Bailey's gold and jewelry into the bag, and prepared to leave the Arlong domain. However, Arlong asked the fishman to stop Nami. Arlong, what do you mean? Nami glanced at Arlong angrily. What do I mean? What I mean is very simple. We agreed on 100 million, but you came here with 68 million to fool me. Don't you think that I will pretend that nothing happened? Arlong sneered. Road. Then what do you want to do? Nami asked with her heart sinking. It's very simple. I confiscated the money you brought. I will treat it as an apology for tricking me. Arlong said coldly. The two Murloc boys next to him took action and snatched away the 100 million yuan that Nami was carrying. Arlong, you are so embarrassing. Nami's eyes turned red instantly. At this moment, she recalled that in the past 10 years, she had come and gone in the wind and rain, working in the dark and taking the risk of being killed. It took 10 years to save this money. As a result, it was so easily taken away by Arlong. The grievance in Nami's heart suddenly burst out. What are you talking about? It's so embarrassing for me to bully others. It was you who made the mistake first. I'm just giving you a punishment. So that you know, don't bring gold jewelry or other things over next time just to show off your money. Okay, you can go. Next time you really collect 100 million belly, my promise will still be valid. Quote. Nami glared at Arlong hatefully. Didn't speak, didn't leave. He just stared at Arlong forcefully. Get out. Arlong was a little upset and shouted loudly. Nami knew that if she continued to irritate Arlong at this time, not only would she be unlucky, but she would even be unlucky for herself. Therefore, Nami did not continue the stalemate with Arlong. After wiping away tears, leaving the Arlong realm without looking back. Ha ha ha, the moment Nami walks out of Arlong's territory. A burst of wild laughter came from Arlong's domain. Nami's face turned cold. Instead of going home, she walked towards the place where the boat had been hidden. Within Arlong territory, Brother Arlong, if we tease Nami like this, will it make her jump over the wall? Octopus Shalba asked. A dog jumps over the wall in a hurry. So what, she is a weak human being. No matter how she jumps, she can't escape from our hands. Humph, after all, Kokoyashimura is her weakness, no matter how angry she is, she will hate us again. In the end, she has to come back and bow her head to me. Arlong smiled nonchalantly. It's rare for Nami to give us 100 million, so, kids, let's have a banquet today. Have a party. When the fish people heard Arlong's words, they all cheered happily. Kokoyasi is dozens of kilometers away. Three pirate ships are anchored at sea. List was lying on a beach chair reading a newspaper. Zoro leaned against the side of the boat and drank a drink. Chitong and the other twelve girls are still practicing. Everyone is busy with their own affairs. Suddenly, Johnny's voice came from the observation deck. Because Chitong and the other girls were practicing, Johnny and Siov took turns acting as lookouts. Captain List, Sister Nami is back. Everyone on the boat paused for a moment. He stopped practicing and walked towards the side of the boat. From time to time, I saw a figure rowing a boat alone, heading this way. Sister Nami. The girls all showed worried expressions. They all know why Nami left before. Now that she is back, that shows. Her negotiations with Arlong failed completely. List put down the newspaper and walked towards the bow of the ship. Looking at Nami getting closer. There was no expression on his face. For this result, 
he had expected it. Unfortunately, Nami has a knot in her heart. That's why he asked Nami to give it a try. Knew it. I can only come back in despair and despair. Nami brought the small boat to the side of the big ship. Chitong and the other girls quickly lowered the rope ladder. After Nami climbed up, without saying anything, he walked directly towards List. He threw himself into List's arms, crying, List, help me. Of course, you are my woman, List comforted Nami and said. Everyone has an order, the target is Coco West Village, everyone will follow me to conquer the Arlong territory. Tamp down the Arlong realm. All the pirates shouted. The sail fell. Three pirate ships sailed towards Coco West Village at the same time. Faintly, everyone seemed to hear the war song being played. When the three ships entered the village of Kokoyasi, they were 20 kilometers away. A bull-shaped sea beast suddenly surfaced, blocking their way. Many pirates were startled. This is the pet of the Arlong pirates, hum. It is letting the Arlong pirates watch in this sea area. You cannot let it go back and report the news. Nami explained immediately. Zoro, List shouted. Zoro understood. He instantly pulled out two samurai swords and swiped at the sea beast hum hum. Two blade style eagle wave. Puff. In an instant, a cold light flashed. There were two long wounds on manatee hum. Blood spurted out crazily. The manatee struggled and turned over, then its belly turned white. Salt it up and get extra food today. List said to the crowd. Okay, Captain. Everyone laughed. United as one. The manatee was quickly fished out. The manatee was not small and was placed on the black gold. The pirates on the black gold were dissecting and cutting up the manatee on their way to Kokoja village. At this time, the Arlong pirates were still having a banquet. He didn't realize at all that his pet, Hum, had been slaughtered. No one informed them. It wasn't until three pirate ships dozens of meters long arrived at the Arlong territory that they discovered this uninvited guest. Pirate ship. Why would a pirate ship come here? Where's Hum? Why didn't it tell us the news? Looking at the three pirate ships, the fishermen were somewhat panicked. Hum Hum has long been broken down and carried into the warehouse. Calm down, why are you panicking? Do we, the Arlong pirates, need to be afraid of another pirate group in East Blue? It doesn't matter if there are too many people. Our fishmen's physique is ten times that of humans. We can easily defeat one against a hundred. Arlong snorted coldly. That's what brother Arlong said. After everyone heard Arlong's words, the panic in their hearts quickly calmed down. However, with such a commotion, the banquet could no longer continue. All the fishmen picked up the guy one after another, waiting for the pirates on the boat to make the first move. At this time, List hugged Nami and walked to the bow of the ship to look down at Arlong and others. Nami, brother Arlong, it's Nami, she betrayed us. Human beings are really hateful. We obviously let her go with good intentions, but she actually came with pirates to beat us. Brother Arlong, we must not let her go next time. I can see it, no need for you to tell me. At this time, Arlong looked at Nami and was very angry. He snorted coldly and said, Nami, is this your revenge? Yes, this is my revenge. Arlong, today, I will kill all of you fishmen. Nami glared at Arlong angrily and roared loudly. Just because you are a bunch of rubbish. Arlong laughed, completely ignoring everyone in the money pirates. If it were the Krieg pirates, he might find it a little tricky. He might give up three points. After all, the Krieg pirates are the most popular in East Blue today. Moreover, the troops and horses under his command are strong. Just relying on the dozen or so fishmen he has here. I'm afraid some two-fisted fists are no match for four-handed ones. However, Nami is now accompanied by a little-known pirate group. Although there are three ships and hundreds of people. However, he really didn't take these people seriously. Soon, we will see clearly who is the trash. List sneered. Don't talk nonsense to Arlong, just wave your hand. Superior, kill. In an instant, countless pirates jumped from the three ships and started killing the fishmen. The momentum is huge. It still scared the fishman to the point of becoming nervous. Kill, Arlong's face was terrifyingly gloomy. The same order was given. After hearing this, a group of fishmen and pirates also attacked those pirates. Arlong held the serrated sword and took the lead. Face off against the Cat brothers for the first time. 
The Catman brothers are now in a state of being praised for their high hypnosis. Very excited, Arlong was unable to fight them off the first time. Instead, he was entangled by them. However, Zoro, the battle captain, ran a little too slowly when he got off the ship. He can only fight against Shalba. Johnson, Rocky and several strong men surrounded Kruby. Zangao led a group of his hypnosis brothers and besieged the kissing fishman Chirp. The remaining few fishermen were directly overwhelmed by the huge army of money pirates. Although it is said that the strength of fishmen is ten times that of humans. But, when more than ten or twenty humans surrounded a fishman, that fishman was also unable to defeat the four-handed man with just two fists. Soon, some fishmen were besieged and hacked to death. Ah, the salmon fishman Shioyaki let out his last scream. Arlong looked over there sharply. Immediately he saw the tragic scene of Shioyaki being hacked to death. Although he is very cruel to humans, he is still very kind to his own kind. He was furious for a moment. Salt roast. Arlong roared angrily. He swung his serrated sword and struck at the Catman brothers. He actually knocked the Catman brothers flying out on the spot. Arlong did not take advantage of the victory to pursue and kill the Catman brothers, but rushed towards the place where his subordinate Yan Yin was. However, at this moment, a figure quickly came from a distance. He swung the knife straight at him. So fast, even Arlong felt a palpitation in his heart. I didn't have time to think too much, so I quickly blocked it with my knife. Yan Wei, List fainted with his sword, turned around, and swung his sword again towards Arlong's empty side. The knife came quickly and urgently. Done in one go. Arlong didn't have time to react, and there was a pop. An arm was cut off directly. Ah, the gushing blood and the severe pain from the broken arm completely stimulated Arlong. Arlong's eyes were red and he roared violently. He swung his serrated sword and slashed towards List. List's figure flashed and he quickly stepped back several meters. Arlong slashed the air with his knife and rolled it into a circle of air currents. You inferior human being, I'm going to chop you into pieces. Arlong roared angrily. I can't care about other people either. Dragging the serrated sword, he swept towards List. List didn't move. In his mind, he recalled the movie he had watched in the previous world, and the scene where Ding Sakura Bai cut off Shen Lian's sword. I saw him slow down his breathing. When Arlong's serrated machete struck, the knife came out instantly. Flirt up and chop down. Two consecutive sword strikes, with just the right amount of accuracy and power, all in one go. A clang. The serrated sword in Arlong's hand broke with the sound. Half of the blade was inserted into the ground. Arlong was completely stunned. The knife was cut off. How can this be? You know, his sword is a serrated sword, while List's is just a samurai sword. Cut off the broadsword with your katana. It's not scientific no matter how you look at it. However, List just did it. Puff, Arlong was stunned, but List was not stunned. When Arlong was in a daze, the warrior in List's hand struck out quickly again. A long wound was instantly cut on Arlong's body. Blood spurted out of Arlong's body as if it was free of charge. Arlong's body swayed, and finally he knelt on the ground. Holding a machete, breathing heavily and bleeding, he looked at List with wide eyes. A master like you shouldn't be a nobody. Why haven't I heard of your name? Maybe it's because I just debuted. List thought for a while and replied. Just debuted. Ha ha ha. Arlong's laughter was full of sadness and helplessness. People are different. The gap between people is wider than that between people and pigs. He has been at sea for more than 10 or 20 years. As a result, now I can only hide in a small place in East Blue. And List had just made his debut and had already defeated him easily. This was too much for Arlong to accept. Brother Arlong. At this time, other fishmen also noticed Arlong's situation. He couldn't help but cry out in worry. You are fighting against me and you still care about others. How much do you look down on me? Zoro sneered. A ghost slash completely chopped down the distracted octopus Hachi to the ground. Johnson and Rocky also chopped down Kruby with the help of everyone. Several other fishmen were completely defeated the moment Arlong fell. He was completely defeated by the pirates of the money pirates. Can we still fight? If not, your fishman pirate group will be wiped out. List glanced around, finally settling on Arlong, and said with a faint smile. Don't underestimate the fishmen. 
You are a lowly human being. Even if I bite you, I will bite you to death. Arlong glared at List and gritted his teeth. The next moment, regardless of his injuries, he rushed towards List with all his strength. Silent Shunpo. List calmly dodged Arlong's attack. Appeared behind him and waved the katana in his hand again. A cold light flashed. List severed the hamstring directly at the Arlong joint. Arlong stumbled and fell to the ground. List took a few steps forward and stepped on Arlong's back. When you bullied Nami, did you ever think about what would happen now? List sneered. My skills are inferior to those of others. If I want to kill or behead him, I will do as I please. Why are you talking so much? Arlong yelled with a livid face. Hearing this, List stomped him hard on the back. Blood continued to seep out from the wound on Arlong's chest, turning the ground red. Don't worry, I won't kill you directly, because your life belongs to Nami. List sneered. Arlong. At this time, Nami had already stepped off the boat and was walking towards this side. Looking at Arlong lying on the ground, Nami not only showed no mercy, but gritted her teeth with hatred. Nami, I leave this guy to you. List said to Nami. On the way over, Nami snatched the axe from a pirate's hand, walked up to Arlong, and looked down at Arlong. Hum hum. Arlong raised his head and looked up at Nami, glancing at the axe in her hand, laughed loudly, and then said in a resentful voice, I didn't expect that one day, I would fall into your hands. It's really like a tiger falling flat and being bullied by a dog. If I had known this, I should have killed you decisively. Regret. Unfortunately, there is no regret medicine in this world. Nami said in a cold voice. Do you have any last words? You can tell them all. Come on, Nami, don't be merciful, just be decisive, just like I killed your adoptive mother back then. Arlong sneered and had no last words. Instead, he used the events of that year to stimulate Nami and wanted to die. As you wish, Arlong is dead. He was hacked to death by Nami with axe. Blood splattered all over Nami. The pirates around him trembled when they saw Nami's fierceness. As expected, that sentence is true. When a woman becomes ruthless, nothing will happen to a man. Captain, what should I do with these guys? Do you want to chop them up too? Zangao asked. Not all of the other fishmen were dead. After Octopus Hachi was chopped down by Zoro, he was only seriously injured. At this time, he was not dead. And the kissing fishman Ju who was defeated by Zangao and his men did not die either. There are two others who are not dead either. Don't chop it yet. List stopped them. It's not that his kindness is overflowing. Instead, he thought of Arlong's treasure. Arlong rules over 20 villages here. A lot of capitation fees are collected every month. Although part of it was used by him to bribe Colonel Mouse, another part was kept by him. List didn't know if Arlong hid the money. For the sake of stability, he decided to save the lives of those fishmen first. If they hadn't found Arlong's legacy in the Arlong realm, they might have been able to get some clues from them. Johnson, Rocky, Zangao, take people into search, don't miss any corner, and move out all the valuable things for me. List pointed to the red tower and said. Hi, soon, the three of them led people into the tower and started plundering it layer by layer. It didn't take long. Then a pirate came out carrying bags after bags of things. This bag is mine, bring it to me. Nami shouted quickly when she saw a pirate carrying the bag of money she had brought to the Arlong domain. She doesn't have to care about other things, but this money is something she has worked hard to save for 10 years, so she cares about it very much and won't tolerate anyone else's tampering with it. The pirate glanced at List. Since it belongs to Nami, give it back to Nami. List said. Although List also loves money, he would not grab it directly in front of Nami. Even if he wanted to, he could have used other methods to make Nami give him the money willingly. Okay, Captain. The pirate put the bag down. Nami quickly opened it to check. When I found that there was nothing missing, I breathed a sigh of relief. At this time, the three battle captains walked up to List and reported to him. Captain, a total of 330 million bellies worth of wealth was discovered in the Arlong domain, of which 100 million belonged to Sister Nami. 30 million were found above, and another 200 million were found in the secret room of the underground chamber. Good job. Hearing this, List nodded with satisfaction. Wait a minute, torture those fishmen again and see if Arlong has hidden money elsewhere. Zangao, 
You are good at this, so I will leave it to you to take charge. It's the captain. As long as Arlong still has money hidden elsewhere, I will definitely let them reveal it all. Zhang Gao assured List. Very good. List nodded and continued. The Arlong pirates have been destroyed, so there is no need to keep this tower. Someone, shoot it for me. Quote, Hi, Johnson Rocky led the people back to the ship and controlled the turret on the pirate ship to aim at the tower. Fire. Boom. The tower finally collapsed amid bursts of shelling. Nami, who was standing on the side of Arlong's domain leading to the village, watched this scene and finally couldn't help but shed tears. It's over, this is finally over. Melville, did you see that? I have avenged you and finally saved the village from the Arlong pirates. Just in time, Nochigao led a group of villagers and rushed over with farm tools. Najigao, why are you here? Nami looked at Nokigao and others coming over and shouted in surprise. Nami, are you okay? From a distance, Nuochi saw that Nami was covered in bloodline. She didn't care about anything else. She quickly walked to Nami and asked with concern. I'm fine, but you guys, why are you here? Nami asked. What's going on with the blood on your body? Nochigao asked again, not believing Nami's words. This blood is not mine, it's Arlong's. It was spattered when I killed him with an axe. Nami said nonchalantly. I see. When Nuo Chigao heard this, he couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. He reacted quickly. Nami, what did you say? Did you hack Arlong to death? Yes, Arlong is dead, hacked to death by my own hands. Nami said loudly. From today on, we in Kokoyasi village will no longer have to be bullied by Arlong and those fishmen. Is this true Nami? All the villagers were excited and even some couldn't believe it. Really, if you don't believe it, look at it. Nami pointed at Arlong's headless body not far away and said. Although the body had no head, the villagers of Kokoyasi village recognized him as Arlong right away. Arlong is dead, Arlong is really dead. The villagers were all excited and roared crazily. Then many people cried with joy. The nightmare of ten years finally ended today. Didn't you say before that you wanted to redeem Kokoyasi village? I saw that you hadn't come back for so long, and I was afraid that something might happen to you, so I told everyone about it. Although everyone is afraid of Arlong, they are also worried about your safety, so everyone came in groups. As a result, the sound of artillery was suddenly heard halfway. I was still afraid that something would happen to you, but now I see that you are fine, it's great. Not only was Nuo Chigao happy, she also explained to Nami why they came here. When Nami heard this, her heart warmed up and she felt that her ten years of hard work were worth it. After all, everyone loves her too. Let everyone worry. In fact, the cannon fire is not for fighting, but to destroy this tower. Destroy it well, this tower should be destroyed. Every time I see it, I have nightmares. Nokigao said bitterly. Nami, who are these people? Are they okay? Don't kill the jackals and the tigers are here again. At this time, Jian came over and quietly pointed at the pirates nearby, cautiously asked. Don't blame him for being like this, he was really scared of the pirates. Now they are wary of any pirates. Even so, this pirate helped them kill the people who bullied them before. The other villagers, now looking at the pirates, were more afraid than grateful. Nami glanced at everyone and understood. He smiled and reassured. Don't worry, they are all pirates of the money pirates, and the captain is my man, he is very good to me. These pirates listen to me very much. They all know that Kokoyasi village is my hometown and they don't dare to mess around here. Quote. Your man, Nami, could you? Nochigao's face suddenly changed. However, before she finished speaking, she was interrupted by Nami. Don't think nonsense, it's not what you think. I am with him because I really like him, not selling my body is a deal to let him defeat Arlong for me. Is this really true? Nuo Chigao said hesitantly. You don't believe me? Nami asked, somewhat unhappy. No, no, I believe it. As long as you really like it. No Chigao laughed quickly. What is the name of the captain of this pirate group? Who is he? Jian quickly changed the subject and asked. Now, the deal is done, and now, it's too late to say anything. Moreover, he is just a senior of Nami, and he cannot stop Nami no matter what she chooses. Now, he just wants to check for Nami and see what this man is like. The captain is not among these people, 
he seems to have boarded the ship. Nami's eyes scanned the surrounding pirates, but List was not seen. Thinking about List's attitude towards Bailey, at this time, I am afraid that he has returned to the ship to make money. Then he spoke. Then, can you introduce him to us? Anyway, he is also the son-in-law of our Kokoyasi village, right? We must meet him, Aegean said. Okay, come with me, I will introduce List to you. Nami heard this and did not refuse. He happily took Nokigao, Aegean and a few villagers towards the pirate ship. Get out of my way, why are you blocking me here? Nami cursed several pirates blocking the road. Several pirates didn't dare to fart, so they quickly stepped aside with a smile. Nuo Chigao and Aegean watched and gradually felt relieved. From this little incident, we can see that Nami's status in this pirate group is quite high. In this way, it should not be a simple physical transaction. What Nami said seems to be true. Yulin, is List on the boat? Nami stood on the shore and asked Yulin who was standing on the boat. Yes, Sister Nami, the captain is on the ship. Yulin responded quickly. Is he busy now? Have no idea. Go and ask him. If he's not busy, let him come out. I have a few people I want to introduce to him. Nami said. Okay. Yulin responded and quickly walked towards the cabin. After shelling the tower, List did not stay with Nami. Instead, he returned to the captain's cabin with 230 million in cash. Cheat, give me 200 million yuan. Under the control of List, Cheat quickly devoured 200 million belly, leaving 30 million. Now that the pirate group is getting stronger, their expenses are gradually increasing. Plus, this time the harvest is huge. List does not lack those three golden points. Therefore, I deliberately left 30 million baileys in cash in case of emergencies. Finance owner. List. Physique. 3.5. Spirit. 4.3. Dianjin index. 20. Cheat. Add 10 points to your spirit and 10 points to your body. Added points completed. Finance owner. List. Physique. 13.5. Spirit. 14.3. Golden Index. Zero. I feel so powerful now that I can kill a cow with just one punch. List silently felt the changes in his body. The mind also seems to be clearer and sharper. I don't know how long I can last if I turn on the overclocking mode now. I don't know if I can reach the speed of sound if I run at full speed. Well, I have to find a chance to try it. List muttered to himself. At this time, Yulin came to knock on the door. Master Captain. What's the matter? Sister Nami asked me to ask if you are free. There are a few people she wants to introduce to you. Yulin said in a gentle voice. The next moment, the door to the captain's cabin was opened, and List walked out. In that case, let's go and meet. List smiled faintly and walked outside. That night, a long-awaited bonfire party was held in Kokoyasi village. The main ingredient is the big sea cow, Hum Hum. Of course, the money pirates also provided a lot of wine and other meat. And Coco West Village offers fresh vegetables and fruits. The dinner table has always been the easiest place to bring people closer together. At this time, the money pirates have become integrated with the villagers of Coco West Village. Looking back at the past, they were all good buddies. If you drink me wine, I will drink you wine too. List is naturally among them. Come, List, I will toast you again. From now on, our Nami will be left to you. Aegean's face was red and he was already a bit drunk, but he still refused to admit defeat and raise the small wine vat to toast List. List refused to come and had another drink with Aegean. It was boring. This was already the 20th cup that Aegean had given him, and including others, he had drank more than 300 cups. Moreover, they are all small wine tanks. A tank should be filled with at least more than one kilogram. If it were an ordinary person, it would already be unbearable. But he is no ordinary person. The developed Liuku Immortal Thief is operational. Even if it were ten times more, he could easily digest it without getting drunk or having his belly burst. Don't worry, Uncle Aegean. Nami is such a good girl, I will naturally cherish it, and I will never let others hurt her even half a hair. Okay, I take this seriously. Come on, let's have another drink. Drink. I don't know how much time passed. All the people who came to Toast List were drunk and unconscious. List was still sober as if he hadn't been drunk. He stood up and looked around. 
Seeing everyone drunk and unconscious, he immediately laughed. A bunch of young people also want to get me drunk, but you are still far behind. Said. List walked towards Nami's house. Why should he lie with these stinky men who don't take showers when he can sleep with the beauty's sweet-smelling body in his arms? Knock knock knock. List didn't leave for long before he came to Nami's house and knocked on Nami's door. Soon, the door was opened wide. Back, when Nami saw List, he immediately showed a sweet smile and let List in. In fact, Nami, Nuo Chigao and others also participated in this banquet. Even the whole village of Kokoyasi village, men, women, old and children attended this banquet. However, those women and children did not drink much. After eating and drinking, then left. There were only a group of men left drinking and having fun. It's already late at night, why are you still sleeping? List asked with a smile. Waiting for you, Nami smiled. Take the initiative to hug List's neck. This is your home, aren't you afraid that Nokigao will hear it? List patted Nami's peach and teased. Don't worry, she's already asleep. Nami smiled. But, she may wake up at any time. List smiled. Just wake up, Nami said nonchalantly. Anyway, I have already told her about my relationship with you. She will understand and know how to avoid suspicion. If it doesn't work, just take her in. Quote, snapped. She's your sister, you don't mind at all. I don't mind. Melbell told me before that if you have good things, you must know how to share them. Nuauchi Gao is my sister. When I want to share, I naturally think of her first. Overclocking joy. I also want her to experience it. Nami smiled. I'm impressed with you. List was speechless. Kiss Nami directly. Nami also actively cooperated. List, turn on overclocking. As you wish. The next day, wake up in the morning. List looked at Nami, who was still sleeping, and couldn't help but recall the madness last night, and suddenly showed a proud smile. The physical points were increased to 13.5 and the mental points were increased to 14.3. He was still able to maintain the overclocking mode for 35 minutes while in motion. Nami was defeated by him and lost his armor. According to this calculation, if you don't do strenuous exercise in the overclocked state, you can last at least more than 70 minutes. Thought of this, List suddenly wanted to try his speed of running at full speed. Suddenly there was no sleepiness. Gently pull out Nami's arm. Open the door and walk to the living room. As a result, I saw Nochigao who was busy in the kitchen. Morning, Nokigao. List said hello casually. You're awake, why don't you wake up for a while? Nochigao looked back at List in a panic. Seeing List, she couldn't help but think of what happened last night. Last night, she had slept well. As a result, the two of them woke her up without respecting martial ethics. This was the first time in her life that she overheard such an exciting thing, and she couldn't bear it. So she couldn't sleep last night. It wasn't until dawn that she fell asleep in a daze. But, soon, I was woken up by the crowing of roosters. She looked at the time and saw that it was already at this point, so she had no choice but to drag her somewhat sleepy body up to make breakfast for Nami and List. It's okay, I'm used to getting up at this time. I'll go out and run a few laps first. List also noticed that Nojigao was not in good spirits. He probably had insomnia last night. He smiled sheepishly, opened the door directly, and faced outside. Go out. List ran around the island. After completing the warm-up. Then he blessed himself with the Kue Kue fruit ability. Whoosh. List instantly shot out more than a hundred meters. This is not the true speed of List. I can go faster. List continues to accelerate. 160 meters per second. 180 meters per second. 200 meters per second. 220 meters per second. When, List increased the speed to 220 meters per second. I found that my speed could no longer increase. He knew that this was his fastest speed under normal circumstances. The next moment, List decisively turned on the overclocking mode. Whoosh, the normal limit speed is broken again. 260 meters per second. 280 meters per second. 300 meters per second. 310 meters. When List pulled the speed to 310 meters per second. I also noticed the limits of the overclocking mode. Didn't reach the speed of sound. List was a little disappointed, but not too disappointed. How long has it been since he got the devil fruit? 
By all calculations, it's less than two months. Now he already has a speed of 310 meters per second. He believed it wouldn't take long. You can enter the sonic era by yourself. List gradually slowed down, then released the overclocking state. It may be that the physical fitness has reached 13.5, or it may be that it has not been in the overclocked state for a long time. List didn't feel particularly tired. So I ran around Coco West Island again before returning to Nami's house. At this time, Nakigao had already prepared breakfast. Nami has also woken up. The two were chatting about home affairs. When they saw List coming back, they immediately stood up and went to greet him. Came back. I'm back. I'm going to clean up first. After List cleaned up, he had breakfast with the two sisters Nami. List, we stayed in Zybro village for four days. How about we stay in Coco West village for four days this time? Nami suddenly suggested while eating breakfast. Okay, List glanced at Nami and nodded. His strength is still in the period of rapid soaring. He's in no rush to get to the Grand Line. It would be nice to let Nami spend a few more days with her family. After all, after leaving, no one knows when he will come back again. Great, Nokigao, after breakfast, let's go pick oranges together. This season is when the oranges are ripe. Nami smiled happily. Okay, Nuo Chigao also nodded happily. Nami, if you like oranges, you can move a few orange trees to the boat. This way you can see the orange trees in your hometown every day. List smiled. That's a good idea. Nami's eyes lit up. Okay, it's decided. No Chigao, wait a minute, help me dig some orange trees and put them in pots. In this way, I can see the orange trees every day when I get up. When I see the orange tree, no matter where I am, I can immediately think of you in Coco West Village. Quote. Okay, Nokigao supported Nami's request unconditionally. After breakfast, Nami went to the orange grove with Nokigao. List went back to the pirate ship to check on the situation. As a result, when we just arrived at the ruins of Arlong Domain, he was stopped by Zoro. Captain List, today, I want to challenge you. Zoro looked at List with burning eyes and said. Two days ago, Zoro was injured. No one came to challenge List. Now, the injuries on his body are almost healed. I couldn't wait to jump out and challenge List. Come on, List didn't waste any time and directly accepted Zoro's challenge. Anyway, idol is idol. It's not bad to try and compete with Zoro. Zoro grinned. Just wrap your head with a green scarf. Draw out three knives. Look at List like a wild animal. Very aggressive. The nearby pirates noticed Zoro challenging List, and they immediately gathered around him curiously. Some good people shouted directly. The market is open, the market is open. Just bet on how many rounds the captain can last under the captain. Quote. When the pirates around him heard this, they immediately became interested. I bet a claw, and in one round, the captain will be killed instantly by the captain. I bet a bone on a skewer of meat. Within three moves, the captain will be defeated. I bet a hundred baileys, the captain can support ten moves this time. Quote quote, Zoro didn't take the pirate bet to heart. At this time, he only had list in his eyes. The fighting spirit is almost brewing. Suddenly, Zoro rushed toward list like an arrow from a string. Overclocking mode, list does not turn on overclocking to kill Zoro instantly. Because, one instant kill is enough. He kept killing instantly, and he was afraid Zoro wouldn't be able to withstand the blow. He turned on overclocking mode to observe Zoro's fighting style. After all, isn't there an old saying that goes, when three people are together, there must be one teacher. Zoro may not be as strong as him now. However, Zoro has a good teacher to guide him, he has laid a good foundation, and his moves are relatively comprehensive, which is very useful for reference. When you fight Zoro and observe his fighting skills, you understand the basic practice of Ys Shinryu. Observe Zoro's fighting skills when you fight with him, and you understand the basic moving footwork. When you fight Zoro and observe his fighting style, you understand the moment of a thousand swords and the crazy dance of the devil. When you were fighting with Zoro and you were pushed back by his sword, you realize that a light weight is worth a heavy weight. As you fight Zoro, your combat experience is constantly improving. When you fight Zoro, you realize that your moves still have many shortcomings. You constantly correct and modify your sword moves during the battle with Zoro, 
and your moves become more concise, sharper, and weirder. List fought with Zoro for almost 10 minutes. The two still couldn't decide the winner. The onlookers were completely dumbfounded. It's the promised round. The promised crushing battle is over. How could it become like this? Idiot, don't you understand? The captain is giving advice to the captain. Is there a possibility that the captain is actually making progress? That makes sense. I feel like the captain's swordsmanship is becoming more and more concise and weird. In this battle, both Zoro and List improved, but List improved faster. Zoro was able to fight List back and forth at first, but gradually, he couldn't stand it anymore. In the end, he was defeated by List with regret. Zoro was defeated, but he was not discouraged. Even after watching List for a while, he suddenly started laughing. This sparring made him feel like he was returning to his childhood when he competed with Kuina. Although he lost, but there was a strong desire to catch up in my heart. Next time, I will definitely defeat you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that day. List smiled faintly. He wouldn't say anything harsh to hit Zoro. He is confident that with his talent, he will only progress faster than Zoro. If this happens, Zoro can still defeat him. All he could say was that he was convinced that he had lost. That day will definitely come. Zoro's eyes flashed with determination. His goal is to be the world's best swordsman. If he can't defeat List, how will he challenge Hawkeye in the future? Wait, then, one day I will defeat you. What are you doing? At this time, Nami and Nokigao suddenly appeared not far away. Looking at the people gathered together, he couldn't help but ask. Zoro wants to challenge me, so let's play with him. List laughed. At this time, List has not turned off the overclocking mode. The aura is so powerful and the charm is so public. And that confident smile, it instantly hit Nokigao's heart. Then her heart began to beat faster and faster. Why didn't I realize before that List is so charming? Nuauchi Gao blushed, and for a moment she didn't dare to look at List. Didn't you go pick oranges and dig orange trees? Why did you come here when you had time? List asked. I just went for a walk in the orange grove, and suddenly I realized that the amount of work from digging trees, to planting them in pots, to moving them onto the boat seems to be a bit large. I'm afraid I won't be able to finish it today if I'm just as tall as Noki, so come and call some helpers. Nami said. Yeah, then you can scream. List said disapprovingly. Then unlock the overclocking mode. Suddenly a wave of fatigue came over. List immediately shouted. Someone, bring me something to eat. Hurry. Hi. Several pirate chefs heard this and immediately returned to the ship. List, are you okay? Nochigao looked at List, whose expression suddenly turned a little ugly. He immediately came back from his obsessed state and couldn't help but asked worriedly. It's okay. I just fought with Zoro and was a bit exhausted. Eat some meat and you'll be fine. List shook his head and smiled. At this time, several chefs had brought a large amount of food. List couldn't care less. He just picked up an apple and threw it into his mouth. Then he picked up a piece of meat and started to bite it. A wave of wolfing, quickly digesting all the food. And List's expression quickly recovered. Nokigao felt relieved after seeing that List was really fine. Nami next to her saw all this completely. He laughed secretly in his heart, pushed Nuo Chigao with his arm, and said with a smile, How is it? Is your heart moved? That's not the case, don't talk nonsense. Nami curled her lips and did not continue. Because this is really not the right place for the two girls to talk about this kind of topic. Yulin, Shizuka, Chitong, Seal. Come down and dig the orange trees with me. Nami shouted to Yulin and the other twelve girls on the money ship. Hi, hearing this, Yulin and the other twelve girls did not refuse, and stepped off the money boat one after another and walked towards Nami. List, let's go, Nami said to List. Go, List waved his hand. Soon, Nami, Nokigao and the twelve girls left the ruins of the Arlong domain. After walking for a while, there was no man around. Nami gradually let go and said, Najigao, your heart was actually moved just now. What did you say? I don't understand. Nokigao actually understood, but hearing Nami's direct words, she could only pretend not to understand. Otherwise, what else could she do? Do you have to admit it and then make yourself so embarrassed? Stop pretending, none of us understand each other yet. Nami sneered. 
Don't say I won't give you a chance, if you want, I will create a chance for you tonight. Of course, if you don't want to, I won't force you. Quote. Hearing this, Nokigao glanced at Nami and said, You are so generous. You are actually planning to share your man with your sister. Melbo once said that if you have good things, you must know how to share them, and then you will be happier. Nochigao, I am ready to share my best things with you. Nami smiled. Is this what Melbel meant? Nokigao blinked. It doesn't matter whether you mean it or not. Just say whether you want it or not. Nami said. Yes. Nochigao nodded quickly. What are you planning to do? You'll find out tonight. Nami smiled mysteriously. Conversation between Nami and Nami. The twelve girls behind could hear it clearly. For a moment, I was extremely shy. Can this kind of thing be brought up and talked about in public? Or is it that sister Nami doesn't treat them as outsiders at all? After dinner, Nokigao began to clear the table. Nami took List out for a walk to eat and look at the moon. When the two returned, they found that Nokigao seemed not to be there. No one was found in the living room or her room. Where has Nochigao been at this time? List asked a little strangely. Who knows, maybe we made too much noise yesterday, so in order to avoid suspicion, it doesn't matter whose house she went to spend the night at today. Nami said disapprovingly. It's possible, List touched his nose and said. I've been busy all day today. I'm all sticky and uncomfortable. List, let's take a bath together and rub each other's backs. Nami smiled coquettishly. Okay, how could List refuse such a good thing? He agreed with a smile. Almost an hour later, Nami walked out first with her legs weak. At this time, she did not forget to turn back and smile at List who was still in the bathroom. We haven't decided the winner yet, List, I'm waiting for you in the room. Okay, I'll be right away. After almost another 20 minutes, List came out. Because, at the last moment, Nami got his hair dirty. So, he washed his head again. When coming out, List discovered that the lights in the living room were turned off. Only one dim-colored lantern was still on. List laughed. It's quite sentimental. With that said, he walked towards Nami's room. At this time, Nami's room was dark with no lights on. However, List could still see Nami's outline, and rushed over to her without turning on the light. Baby, I'm coming. Quote, quote. However, after everything fell into place, List suddenly realized that the person on the bed was not Nami. Are you Nokigao? Um, how will you be here? List, I like you. Nokigao mustered up the courage to say. But your sister and I are. I know, but she originally arranged all this. Nochigao said. I see. In that case, let's continue. Continue. List is on a roll. It took almost two hours to kill Nuo Chigao until he was defeated step by step, and finally fainted despite the heavy burden. List also fell asleep contentedly holding Nojigao in his arms. Until late at night, List noticed something strange and woke up. It turned out that Nami had sneaked back quietly. Moreover, List continues to be provoked. List can tolerate her. Directly, she killed another 800 rounds. The next day, three strokes higher on the day. List just woke up. This is the first time he has woken up so late in time. This can be seen from this point. Last night, he consumed a lot. Nokigao and Nami seemed to know this, so not only did they cook a lot of breakfast today, but they also had the effect of tonifying the kidneys and strengthening yang. Time flies. Three days passed. During these three days, List can be said to have enjoyed all the blessings of everyone. But, all good things come to an end. Today, the time finally arrived as List and Nami agreed. The money pirates are about to set sail again. Just like when List was in West Brom and invited Kaya on board, this time. He also invited Nokigao on board. However, Nokigao, like Kaya, refused List's invitation on the grounds of taking care of the Orange Grove. However, this time, List's choice was completely different. He did not respect Nokigao's opinion and directly forced Nokigao onto the ship. Moreover, Nami has no objection. He even raised his hands in agreement. Nuo Chigao's resistance also became stronger and stronger as time went by, and finally the voice of opposition completely disappeared. They even took the initiative to choose their own room on the ship. The night before Nami left, 
she left all the 100 million she had accumulated to Aegean, and asked Aegean to go back and distribute the money to the villagers. This day, the wind is sunny and sunny. The ruins of Arlong Domain were already overcrowded at this time. They are all villagers of Kokoyasi village. At this time, I came to see Nami, Nokigao and the others off. Although they were surprised at first when they heard that Noki had boarded List's ship, they soon felt relieved when they thought about the relationship between Nami and List. Nuo Chigao, this is your first time going to sea. You must take good care of yourself and listen to Nami's opinions. Don't worry everyone, I will take care of myself and listen to Nami's opinions more. Nami, you should also take care of yourself. It's the first time Nokigao went to sea and he doesn't understand anything. You should keep an eye on Nokigao. I will take good care of Nokigao. Everyone, please take care of yourself. Nami waved his hand. List, Nami and Nojigao are left to you, you have to protect them. Don't worry, I will protect them. List responded solemnly. It's almost time. List announced directly. Sail. As these words fell, one by one the sails fell. Just at this moment, a gust of sea breeze blew by. Directly blow the sail into the air. The three pirate ships of the money pirates slowly moved farther and farther towards the sea. Seeing the money pirates leaving, the villagers of Kokoshishi village also went back one after another. At this time, Aegean stopped everyone and asked them to go to his house to get together first. As for what's going on, maybe Nami can guess it. Not long after the money pirates left Koko West village. List is discussing the next voyage with Nami. Sayov suddenly shouted nervously on the observation deck. Captain, a warship has been spotted ahead. List raised an eyebrow. Marine appears here, could it be Colonel Mouse from the East Blue 16 branch? After this thought flashed through his mind, List immediately said, telescope. Yulin, who was waiting on the side, quickly handed over a telescope. List took the telescope and looked forward. Give me one too. Nami seemed to have thought of something and said to the girl next to her. Shizuka also quickly handed Nami a telescope. After Nami took it, he also looked forward. It's really him. When List saw clearly the appearance of the leader Marine on the warship, he couldn't help but sneer. It's indeed Colonel Mouse. After Nami saw the other party's wretched face, he immediately showed a look of disgust. List, this guy's name is Colonel Rat. Flirting with Arlong. The reason why Kokoyasi village has been ruled by Arlong for 10 years is due to his contribution. Nami explained to List. Then kill them. List smiled. Kill them. Nami hesitated for a moment. She explained the situation to List. She just wanted List to help her teach Colonel Rat a lesson. However, she had not thought about killing Colonel Rat. After all, Colonel Mouse is a Marine. Killing Marine and killing pirates are completely different things. If the pirates kill, they will kill. No one will pity them, and there will be no subsequent trouble. However, if you kill Marine, you will be on Marine's blacklist. From then on, Marine may have to take a severe crackdown. At that time, there will be big trouble. This guy is a Marine. If you kill them, you will be in big trouble. Why don't you kill them and just teach them a lesson? Nami said to List after some hesitation. If you hit a snake, you will suffer, Nami, you must have heard this saying. List glanced at Nami and said solemnly. People like Colonel Mouse are small-minded and will retaliate. If we just teach him a lesson, he won't be afraid of us and will even bear a grudge against us. There is nothing they can do against us. Will they transfer their hatred to the villagers of Kokoyasi village? I remember that before you left, you had left all the money you had accumulated in the past 10 years to Kokoyasi village. Do you think Colonel Mouse will not discover the money? Do you think Aegean and the others can keep this money? If Colonel Mouse is let go, maybe the money will not only fail to fall into the hands of the villagers in the end, but it may even become evidence for Colonel Mouse to accuse them of committing illicit pirate affairs. Nami, you need to think clearly. List explained the situation. The more Nami listened, the paler his face became. Nokigao next to him heard List's remark. They all became nervous. I feel that people like Colonel Mouse really deserve to die. I understand, List. People like Colonel Rat really deserve to die. For the sake of Kokoyasi village, List, please help me kill Colonel Rat to avoid future troubles. Okay, I know what to do. List laughed and gave the order directly. Young men, have you seen the warship ahead? 
Get closer. Hi. The next moment, three pirate ships drove towards the warship a few kilometers away at full speed. As the three pirate ships continued to approach the warship, Marine on the warship also discovered the money pirates at this time. He quickly reported to Colonel Mouse. Report to Colonel Mouse, three pirate ships were spotted ahead, and they are heading towards us at full speed. Pirate ship, Colonel Mouse was surprised. He quickly stood up and asked, where did the other party come from? I'm not sure. The other party's pirate flag is very unfamiliar, and there seems to be no reward yet. Marine said. A group of pirates with no bounty on their backs actually dared to attack our warship. They must have taken the courage to do so. Where's the telescope? Bring me the telescope. Quote. Colonel Mouse, as he spoke, walked towards the bow of the ship. Soon a Marine handed a telescope to Colonel Mouse. After Colonel Mouse took it, he looked towards the money pirates. Soon, he saw List and others on the money. He didn't know List, but he knew Nami and Nojigao. He was not impressed by Nokigao. After all, they are just villagers of Kokoyasi village. Even though he had met her a few times, he couldn't name her. At most, he just thought she looked familiar. But, Nami is different. She has been following Arlong for 10 years. Colonel Mouse has also worked with Arlong for 10 years. For the past 10 years, he has been going to the Arlong field almost every month. He had met Nami more times than he could count. Naturally, he recognized her immediately. Nami from the Arlong Pirates. Why is she in this pirate group? Colonel Mouse was surprised. Wait a minute, the direction this pirate group is sailing from seems to be Koko West Village. Could it be that they came from Kokoyasi Village? Now Nami turned around and joined this strange pirate group. Doesn't that mean that the Arlong Pirates have probably been defeated by this pirate group? Quote. The more Colonel Mouse thought about it, the more likely it seemed. Then, looking at the pirate ship getting closer and closer, he suddenly realized something and said in horror, No, the target of this pirate group is me. He worked in cahoots with Arlong and caused harm to Coco West Village for ten years. The people there have long hated him. Now, the pirate ship of the pirate group that Nami joined was heading towards him. Nami must be trying to get revenge on him. Thinking of this, he became completely panicked. Come here, turn the warship around quickly and run away. Ha, huh, the marines on the warship were stunned when they heard this. Although they are in the same boat as Colonel Mouse. However, they still very much identify with their identity as marines. In this world, pirates have always avoided marine, so marine is afraid of pirates. Therefore, they did not turn around for a while. What are you talking about? Execute the order quickly. Do you want to be killed by these people? Colonel Mouse yelled frantically. Hi, at this time, Marine on the warship understood what Colonel Mouse meant. They did not choose to disobey the order. Instead, they quickly turned the warship around and ran towards the Marine base of Branch 16. Then, a very interesting scene appeared on the sea. Three pirate ships chased a warship. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.